Hey everybody, we're down here because we're going to put away some tables for today's lesson. And you might be thinking, what does putting away tables have to do with math? Well, let me tell you, really nothing. But we're going to do a, a time lapse of that. And a time lapse is just a bunch of photographs taken at a certain interval and then stitched together to make it look like time is going really quickly. You may have seen it with clouds or flowers growing or just people zipping in and out of a downtown area where they look really blurry. So we're going to try that here. And in order to do that, I need to calculate how many pictures I need to take. Uh, but to know how many pictures I need to take, I need to know how long it's going to take me to put all these tables away. So in order to do that, I'm going to uh, take some pictures. And do I take a picture every 5 seconds, every 10 seconds, every 15, every 20? How do I do that? Well, what you do is you just decide how many pictures it takes and how many pictures it takes for one second. Now, when I put the video out, it's going to be 24 frames per second, which is usually the average. Movies are like that. TV shows are more 30. So to get one second of footage, I need to take 24 pictures. And I want this video usually to go around 10 seconds of me doing all this stuff. I would need 24 times 10, which is 240 pictures. And I can't remember all the math off the top of my head, so I actually wrote it out right there. So if I take a picture every five seconds, that means I need 12 pictures per minute. That means every two minutes, I'm going to get 24 uh, pictures. So it would take two minutes of picture taking to get one second of footage. 24 times 10 is 240. So let's double check. So two minutes, I get 24 pictures. So two times 10 is 20 minutes in order to get a 10 second burst of what I'm getting done here. So uh, let's get to it. I got that all done. It looks really nice. But what we're going to do right now, we're going to head back up to the classroom. So let's see up there. We're going to calculate now how long it would take for me to actually put the tables away and the chairs to get a good time lapse. I know for film, it's about 24 frames for one second. I want to get about 10 seconds worth of the time lapse just to get a good shot of what's going on. Uh, so. If I wanted to multiply that by 10, because I want 10 seconds, 24 times 10, that means I need 240 frames to get 10 seconds worth of footage. I was thinking of taking one shot or one frame every five seconds. There are 60 seconds in a minute. So to turn a 5 into a 60 times 12, so 1 times 12 is 12 frames. So in one minute, I'm going to convert that into one minute then. So instead of thinking in seconds, I'll just say, in one minute, I'll take 12 pictures. Remember, I'm looking for 240, so I can turn a 12 into a 240. I'm just going to go step by step. I'll just multiply this by 2. 12 times 2 is 24 frames. One minute times two is two minutes. I'll have one second worth of footage for every two minute shot. Since I want to go 10 seconds of stuff, I'm going to multiply this times 10. So 24 times 10 is 240, because that's what I'm looking for. I'll put frames there, not frames. And two times 10, 20 minutes. So my calculations down there were, was correct. Well, I would need 20 minutes of time to put away the tables to get 10 seconds of footage for pictures. It took a little bit less than that, but I think I had enough to put it together. Hopefully you enjoyed the uh, time lapse, and I hope you enjoyed the math involved here. I'll have the work assigned for you guys on the Google Docs to figure out other forms of time lapses. Uh, for the rest of you guys, if you want to get into photography, uh, there are plenty of uh, photography videos out there that you can learn how to take good pictures. Uh, one guy, Eric Floberg, is really good. Uh, here's a video here. Here's another video here. Please subscribe. Please share. Please like. That's great for the YouTube al algorithm. Uh, tell your friends about uh, me, and just please share these videos. Have a great day.